Good morning, folks. There will be a spanking in today's show. We've got an active sun, minor proton bombardment at Earth, super lightning, and more of the bread and butter of Earth's magnetic pole shift. If you missed it in the opening sequence, there were several CMEs yesterday, but luckily, it appears none are heading this way. The big one off to the right would have been tasty, but alas, this entire flaring sequence was focused on the limbs. The biggest one did cause this rise in high-energy protons coming in at the polar region. It occurred because Earth is magnetically connected to the Sun's western limb, where that flare and CME erupted. Event is subsiding now. Folks, this galaxy looks like many Hubble shows, but there's a big difference. You've never seen this one before. And yet, it would be one of the brightest galaxies visible to us in the night sky if it wasn't hiding behind the midplane of the Milky Way. Through many, many composite and filters and with the foreground stars still in the way, finally we get an amazing look at IC342. Perhaps many of you saw this yesterday and speculation was abounding. Did the lightning hit a gas line, a power line? Well, while we were wondering, Billy was checking local news and found a reporter who went to the house and wow, it's a Lichtenberg pattern. For those who don't know, electricity can carve as well as anything. That's what happened with the lightning in that guy's yard, and it becomes much easier to imagine electric geology with something so simple as well. Hashtag Valis Marineris. Now, how about that spanking? You'd think after yesterday where I made those who commented without watching the playlist look a bit foolish that you wouldn't see it happen tenfold on the very next day. Turns out I can't predict everything. Let me do this quickly. There is no Nibiru. A red binary system did pass through our solar system 72,000 years ago. Shoal's star. We see it now heading further and further away. Nothing is coming. Nothing is here. The cause of all of this is the galactic current sheet effect on the solar system and the sun, the hand and the sword of the catastrophe cycle. There are no gravitational anomalies anywhere, no moons out of place, no signatures in any wavelength of light. This is an energetic change. It makes perfect sense without the fantasy, and the last hundred or so discoveries were predicted right here. It's a block party today in the comments, so go ahead and show me you'd rather distract and waste our time than do your homework. Now the link to that playlist is below, but now, back to the reason Pluto and Neptune have had their atmospheric cooling collapses, as predicted, and the reason why our future is cold as well. Geomagnetic reversals, excursions, basically anywhere you get low power to the planetary shield we find cooling of the Earth. They found this especially true on the 100,000-year cycle, and while we do focus much more on the 12,000 and 6,000-year cycles, very hard to deny, we are due for the 100,000-year dip back into the glacial conditions now, just as Earth's magnetism is weakening again. A reminder that we are still six to seven days behind on your orders from otf.cells.com. There is a ton of them. It's just me and Kat here, and we are both under the weather, so we greatly appreciate your patience and support. Except the Nibiru folks, get with the program. We need you. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.